Hare Krishna, welcome back to Video for the Day. Today we're going to look at how important it is to use every moment for the pleasure of Krishna. You see, at every minute we have a choice between Krishna and Maya. Am I going to think in a way that is pleasing to Krishna at this minute? Am I going to speak in a way that is pleasing to Krishna at this minute? Am I going to act in a way that is pleasing to Krishna at this minute? As neophytes, we often fail to do this. We think, speak, and act in ways that are not pleasing to Krishna. But if we maintain this desire, no, I must get rid of this bad habit of thinking, speaking, and acting in such a way that is not pleasing to Krishna. Now, if we have that determination, that desire, and we maintain that desire as a burning fire in our hearts, then gradually, 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 we'll succeed more and fail less. And even the failures will not be failures anymore. It'll just be a more long-range road to success. You, see. you can succeed immediately or you can see gradually. That's called failure. For a devotee, there's no such thing as failure. Failure simply means <coughs> his success is coming gradually. That's it. So the devotee is never defeated by the material nature. If he's in the proper mood, he utilizes whatever difficulties he may have as stepping stones to help him enter into that sublime realm known as pure devotional service. So take this, pro this process very seriously, take it joyfully, take it enthusiastically, and Krishna will reciprocate with you in the most inconceivably sublime and nectarian ways. Hare Krishna.